This is what actually happens at the U.S. presidential conventions and why you should care. Political conventions go way back. They were first introduced in 1831 as an alternative to having Congress select our candidates to give the American people more power in the electoral process. After that, big money donors and thousands of delegates started heading to their party's conventions every four years with the goal of picking and then nominating candidates for president. In 1910, Oregon became the first state to establish a presidential primary where delegates were legally bound to support their state's primary winner. The rest of the country followed suit. Now, primary elections have replaced the purpose of these conventions, yet we still have them. What used to be actual voting has become a fairly predictable roll call, meaning everyone at the convention knows how the delegates are voting. They just show up to hear it formally announced. These days, the conventions are designed to sell rather than select candidates. It's become one big political pep rally. But this year, there's potential for it to be much more than that. The presumed Republican presidential nominee may not actually become the official nominee this year. And this wouldn't be the first time it came down to the convention to decide a party's nominee. In 1976, President Gerald Ford and Ronald Reagan showed up at the convention tied for the nomination. The tie led to a contested convention where delegates had to vote right then and there. Ford ended up barely securing enough delegates and took home the nomination. The way the election has gone this far, it'd be no surprise if this year's Republican National Convention saw an even bigger twist than that. In a last-ditch effort to stop Donald Trump from securing the nomination, anti-Trump organizers are tapping into a rule called unbinding at this year's convention. Through unbinding, delegates are able to go totally rogue and vote for a politician other than the candidate their state previously selected. Delegates can literally write in names of whoever they want. She will be the Democratic nominee for president. On the other side of the aisle, now that Sanders has officially endorsed Clinton, this year's Democratic National Convention should look a lot like what we've seen in the past. Speeches from the Clintons and the announcement of Hillary's running mate. But don't be surprised if something happens off script. If this election has taught us one thing, it's that nothing is off the table.